Hey everybody, it is again the calm before the storm. Not much of a storm, but it's still a storm and it's still snow and we all love snow. What's the date today, honey? Uh, it is 9th. January 9th already, guys. I can't believe it, 2024. And we are sitting here on Stanfield Cutoff, just me, the filthy car, and my beautiful bride. Hi. Hello. Hello. So we're gonna take, uh, we're, we're gonna do the uh, Calm Before the Storm over through the Baldwin area and Big Bear City this time, because we never do that. We always do it in the aftermath, of course, but we are gonna do it like this today. Isn't that side of the lake beautiful? That's not the lake, that's the... Let's do it. I want to thank you guys about something. I think we just hit 22,000 subscribers. Awesome. Please, please accept my, my, my sincere gratitude about that. It's amazing. I never thought we'd have 22 subscribers, let alone 22,000. So here we go. And then don't forget, we have a giveaway that we're doing right now for our Sheephorn Retreat. And uh, it's an Airbnb that we are giving away and uh, the way that you can enter the sweepstakes is in the comment section of these past few videos, including this one. I will have a link for you to go to my Instagram and then the instructions will be right there on exactly what you need to do to win your free Airbnb in Big Bear, guys. And it's right next to Bear Mountain in one of the snowiest parts of town. So you'll be happy. Second place prize is, is one of our 60 plus dollar beautiful hoodies. You guys will dig those they are fantastic and third place is 50 bucks cash prize so hopefully you guys sign up and have a chance to win these are very important for me because i like giving i like doing everything i can to give back to you guys because you guys give to me so much and you guys help help me out so much so um it's it's a privilege absolute privilege to give back to you guys so yeah that's what we got going on and again regarding the storm we have maybe an inch of snow coming as always it's gonna look beautiful because you know i any snow for me guys is like heaven on earth so i'm excited about that we're gonna be going to the least snowy part of town right now let me roll down your window babe a couple minutes and then i'll turn on the heat here yeah you guys are gonna see the big discrepancy that this side of town always sees, which is like no snow. I mean, what a beautiful place we get to live in. Just an absolutely gorgeous place. I'm very lucky. And I realize that every single day. So yeah, guys, we've got the Airbnb also in a couple weeks or so whenever we get a decent snowstorm i'm going to be doing a giveaway for the uh, ski warrior goggles so i'm excited for you guys to win those um that's that's going to be a, a different type of sweepstake you uh all all we're going to have to do is hit a certain amount of likes and make sure that you're subscribed to the channel for a chance to win so you're uh you're not going to have to um go to my Instagram and stuff, which I do appreciate that because I'm trying to grow that also, but um, this one's going to be a little more simple. You guys just, we got to hit a certain amount of likes. Obviously, when the storm comes, I will make that determination, but yeah, I'm excited to do all this stuff for you guys, and thank you guys for hooking me up. Um, also, some more good stuff is if you want your skis and snowboards waxed for free, go to Get Boards. They're on the Big Bear Boulevard, all their information is in the comment section and the description of this video. And uh, you can also order your lift tickets through getboards.com. And when you go in there, all you have to do is mention this channel and me, and they will wax your skis and snowboard for free. And trust me, it is so much better out there with waxed skis and snowboards. It's, it, it's, it's like getting a brand new pair of skis or a brand new snowboard. Um, and if the owner, Tony, is there, just say, say hi to Tony for me. 
great, great dude. Alright, and then what else? I, th I think for the most part we are we are taken care of. If you don't want to wait for the uh, for the giveaway for the goggles, there is a discount code with the link to go to Ski Warrior Goggles, and you will save, I think it's like 30 bucks, you guys. They really hooked it up. They really hooked it up. These are smart goggles. Push to talk. They have like a two-mile range. 25 channels, I I believe, maybe, maybe more. Um, so you can be with all your friends up there and just push to talk. It's like a walkie-talkie feature, like those old Nextel phones, guys. And you can listen to music super clear. I think it's got like 5.2 Bluetooth or something, which is like the most advanced Bluetooth to get the best possible sound. It's just great stuff, you guys. So if you guys want those before the giveaway, then you have about another 21 days to save a bunch of money with to get your Ski Warrior goggles. You just got to put in the discount code. And, 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 and babe, am I forgetting anything? Uh, no. Ha, ha, no. Have I mentioned everything? I've mentioned everything, like in in history, right now. I just talked about everything. <laughs> right now, we are staying at a cool little hotel. Since we've had these little snowstorms, I haven't had enough time to post the previous hotel, and we're already staying at another one. So there will be two two hotel videos coming soon and they will be put in the lodging part of the channel so you guys can see and have more options to look at before you come up here to make sure you make the make the right call i i dig it i i dig where we're staying now um but yeah anyway we're coming up to baldwin lake let me roll down this window a little bit because this view is amazing wife's car. Kind of cool. Beautiful Kia Soul. That was a Scion. Oh, really? Yeah. Just testing you, babe, just to make sure you know what you're talking about. <laughs> and she passed it a test. Oh, what a beautiful place. Here's an icy little pond. But that, that is private. That's a private area. That is our, our I, I believe, our water uh, treatment plant right there. But, oh yeah, that, that jet up there, that, that, that airplane is beautiful. I can, see, I can see it in the camera too. So yeah guys, thanks again for everything. I can never thank you enough. You guys make my daily life a lot better because you make me feel loved just like my wife does. You make me feel like I'm, I'm worth something, I'm worthwhile. I'll, I'll never stop thanking you guys for that. That's, that's life-saving stuff, guys. All right, here we go. This is Baldwin Lake out here to the right, this whole area. It is a very beautiful area. If we get some big storms, this whole area turns into a lake, and it's a big lake. But crazy, when we get to the other side, there's gonna be no snow over there. Just crazy. Anyway, as I said, we got about an inch of snow coming. It's gonna start tomorrow evening, late, and go into Thursday morning. I'll keep you guys posted on, uh, on road conditions as well, for those of you who wanna to try to come up. So this time, time or calm before the storm should be early enough for those of you who, who like to make a really impulsive you know, decisions to go do something right away. This should give you plenty of time, just over maybe 25 hours, maybe maybe 30 hours before before the snow starts so you can get up here before, not, not worry about the chain issues, if there are gonna be chain issues, and just get up here. Because the season is ticking away, you guys, and I wanna make sure that all of you at least come to see some snowfall from the sky. I know how happy it makes me. It makes me really happy. And we got one more. One more little beautiful Baldwin view. Then over here.
over here to the left, over that, that last hill right there, you'll start going down the mountain in, into Lucerne Valley. So we're on the edge up here, on this side of town. lesson and, and when we like I think right here guys like this point right where this truck is passing I think this is like right here the least snowiest part of the whole entire valley this strip even though there is a little bit of snow right there I think this is the least snowiest part of the valley when we get into Baldwin you're gonna see very little snow as well but I think this is it the least snowiest part of here but at at nighttime, it's always colder over here, you guys. Always. Kind of like how I've coined the Big Bear Snow Rule, which means that one side of town will always get more snow than the other side of town. I should coin the Big Bear Temperature Rule because it's basically the same exact thing, where it's much colder over here even though they don't get much snow. I feel like I'm forgetting something, babe. Uh oh, it's right. Let's hope that's just a feeling. <laughs> it's just a feeling. I forgot something on this drive. Forgot something on this drive. I've got a feeling. I just thought you didn't put me on on purpose. <laughs> that was on purpose, babe. <laughs> Trying to get you excited. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we are on Baldwin Lake Road. And up here shortly, it turns into Shea Road. So if you hear about Shea Road, S-H-A-Y, I believe, and you're trying to get over to this area, that's where you want to go because Shea will turn into Baldwin Lake Road. And again, this is a great, great little area, peaceful very calm before the storm and very calm during the storm but sometimes you guys as I this this place will get hit good and with extreme wind I'm talking extreme wind so you just gotta be ready when you're out here look at this there's no snow nothing nothing on the left side here Absolutely nothing. <laughs> All right. Temperature right now in Baldwin says 54 degrees. So that's a lot warmer than we were supposed to get today. We were only supposed to hit about 45 and we are at 54 degrees on this side of town. guys do want to help the channel hitting like and subscribe is super super helpful it, it really is because it just it shows YouTube that people are interested and then YouTube will push the video more and that's why I think I mean that's what I think happens guys I could be wrong but I think that's exactly what happens so if you guys really 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 do want to help me and and uh, see see this thing grow even more I'd be so thankful I do work so hard at this and spend a lot of time doing this again no matter what whether you like or subscribe I'm I'm always gonna do this because I love doing it and it, it takes me out of my head for a while it's just it's beautiful Thank you so much. That was amazing. 
that was itching like an itch. Okay, sounds good, Curtis. I'm actually on the complete opposite side of town, so I will head over to the hotel to meet you. Before we go bowling, I have to just go to my house to get the video initially uploaded. All right, my brother, I hope you're still down to do some bowling. to get ahead in life, the harder you work, opportunities will present themselves down the road. Right here's a little free sledding spot that I tell you guys about when we have snow up here. And look, someone's sledding right there. It's on Shea Road right here. If you take Big Bear Boulevard as if you're trying to leave town on Highway 38, instead of turning on Highway 38, just stay straight and Big Bear Boulevard turns into Shea Road. And that's what we're on right now. there. It's great. This town does offer a little bit of everything when it comes to housing. Very affordable. And some that are very expensive. But even some of the more expensive properties, when I first moved up here in 2015, they were significantly cheaper but because of the Airbnb boom up here and um, our economy for the past three years absolutely going into the tank big time, prices have just gotten crazy. Big Bear Boulevard now going through that stop sign that we just went through right there that turned it from Shea Road to Big Bear Boulevard and here's Maple Maple Lane if you 
you turn left here, you will go up to Sugarloaf. Big Bear City and Baldwin, one of the most beautiful places in this whole entire valley, Baldwin Lake. Thank you for being here for the calm before the storm. I will be posting a video tomorrow as soon as it starts snowing, of course. I'll be putting the time lapse up, like always. And I am trying, because I've put time lapses in a few different spots, but that's usually when we're staying at a hotel. I'll try to book a hotel for the snowstorms. Um, but for the past few storms, it hasn't worked out. So I'm going to uh, try to find some, some friends who for some of these storms will let me post time lapses at their places just so we can have a different perspective because I really do love the time lapse. I love it, I love it. So anyway, thank you guys again for being here with me. Thank you for sharing this great experience with me and my wife. Um, it's been a, a real joy and honor to have you guys here. Thanks again for just all the love, all the respect. Um, as I said, if you really want to help me out, hit like, hit subscribe. Um, if you even want to go further, in, in the description of the video, there are ways to help the channel even more. And I'm always thankful for that as well. All right, babe. Thanks for joining us, guys. Can't, next time we see you, there will be snow. <laughs> yes, yes, there will there will be snow. I know that. All right, guys, take care. We love you, and we will talk to you soon. Don't forget to enter for the Airbnb win, or the Airbnb prize, because I want you to win. Take care, guys.